What exactly is the Sea Monkeys Instant Live Eggs Packet? And what's in it? In this series, we're taking a look at every single sea monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real sea monkeys. This red and yellow pouch has a large number 2 graphic on the front with some more detailed instructions about how to use it on the back. How to hatch sea monkeys. After following the instructions on packet number 1 water purifier, add number 2 instant live eggs to the prepared water and stir briefly. When added to the purified water, your sea monkey babies will hatch and in some cases are so small they may take up to 36 hours to grow large enough to see. Main ingredients, assorted mixed salts and Artemia salina cysts slash eggs. Just like sachet 1, packet number 2 has gone through some changes over the years, first being called 5 minute sea monkeys in magic growing formula, with Henry Lamoth's red line drawings of sea monkeys hatching and growing. The 1968 wave packet design for this pouch changed both the name and colour, now calling it Instant Life, stylized in green. I really love Ben Harvey's illustration of this pouch, which came a couple years later in 1970. It shows a sea monkey doctor checking on the health of some new baby hatchlings. I feel like these depictions gave so much more imagination and life to the brand. Joe Orlando refreshed this design in 1972. It's the same idea again, just with more detail and character. When the final change came at the end of the 70s with the large numbered graphic we have today, pouch number 2 got its final name change, now being called Sea Monkey Instant Live Eggs for the very first time. So this pouch is claimed to be both salt and eggs, but I know from experience that there's also a greeny blue water soluble dye in here which is supposed to let you see your baby sea monkeys a little better by slightly colouring the water. The Joe Orlando packet from 1972 also mentions there being some growth food included in it as well, so let's take a closer peek under the microscope to get a closer look. Just like the first pouch, this one is mostly white salt crystals, no surprise there, but there's some colourful particles mixed in too, some green and some orange. My guess is that the orange pellets are a type of dissolvable food, something I've also noticed in packet number 3. The green bits I'm not so sure about though. Perhaps this is more food, or maybe it's the dye, I'm not really sure. Lastly, there are indeed also sea monkey eggs in here. Not many though, in fact ironically, the first pouch had a lot more than this one does. I'm going to test out this packet in a similar way to the first, pouring it into the second edition of the Ocean Zoo tank from 1972. This was the first Ocean Zoo that came with a lid, definitely an improvement on that original design. Because I'm using purified distilled water for this test, I don't believe the use of a water conditioner will be necessary to hatch the eggs in this pouch. The first thing you'll notice is that the water quickly changes to a blue-green colour from that dye I mentioned before. I'll leave this tank for 48 hours or so, and check back in with you then for an update on what happens. Hey guys, it's been a couple of days since setting up this experiment, and I have some results. The water's still a little murky from that green dye, but I can see a few baby sea monkeys swimming about. Not quite as many as I observed in the water purifier packet though, which confirms my suspicion that packet number 1 does indeed have the vast majority of the eggs. One thing I want to quickly mention here, just to avoid any confusion, is that for anybody that's setting up a sea monkey tank for the first time, it's essential that you use both packets number 1 and 2 for your sea monkey tank. The combination of the salts found in both of these pouches are essential to bring the water in your 12 ounce tank to the correct salinity for your sea monkeys to thrive. 